Picture this. You have used a vacuum pump and your penis has gone numb or doesn't erect anymore. You have been to many doctors and urologists and they all say, I can't see that there's anything wrong with you. Go away. You feel desperate and start to cry because your penis is broken. No one believes you and no one is able to help. If this is you, then you should listen now because what I'm going to tell you about vacuum pumps will make you think twice before using one. Hopefully. My name is Stefan Bundrock and I'm a board certified urologist and sexologist. Here's the thing. Overstretching your penis can result in nerve damage to the dorsal nerve and its branches. The list of symptoms includes your penis may feel numb. It may hurt, especially after using the pump. Or you may experience a tingling sensation. Erections may be more difficult to achieve and you will need continuous stimulation for them not to disappear. Don't get me wrong. Vacuum pumps are the oldest erection aids there are and they are generally safe to use when used correctly. Without a doubt, there are medical conditions where they are appropriate. However, if you have normal erections and normal penile anatomy, it could be a good idea to think twice before using a pump. As they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Improper use of a vacuum pump can cause long-term or even permanent damage to your penis. So let's take a look at the nerve in charge, the so-called dorsal nerve. Well, actually it's more of a pair than a single nerve. They enter the penis bilaterally from the root and run next to each other on the back of the penis in the middle. The dorsal nerve is one of the branches of the pudendal nerve. If you are a viewer of Eurochannel or even maybe a subscriber, you know that things are never that easy in my videos because these two spaghettis running in your penis are only part of the real anatomy. Actually, they branch off into the periphery. Just look at this. This is a picture of the penis from an anatomical study. And the green stuff? That's all nerves. They are branches from the dorsal nerve. Amazing, isn't it? On average, 16,600 nerve fibers run through a penis. Half of them are coated, a process called myelination, which affects their properties. I won't go further into detail here. What I think is really amazing is the variation in penile length between the flaccid and erect states. On average, the penis stretches 4 cm, which is 1.6 inches. The nerves have to be able to withstand these variations. Using a vacuum pump can overstretch the nerves in an already erect penis, especially when it is done too forcefully and over a prolonged period. The same goes for jelking. All of this applies force to the erect or half-erect penis, unlike penile stretching devices, which are used in the flaccid state. I think this is important. The more the penis erects, the more vulnerable it becomes. From personal and professional experience, I know that the flaccid penis is very tough. I've done procedures on the flaccid penis that would spoil your appetite for days and give you nightmares. But they went well and I often wonder at the resilience of the penis. This changes completely when the penis is erect. There is danger to its integrity everywhere. Much of it has to do with the fibroskeleton of the penis. If you haven't watched my video about it, I think you should. It's a truly amazing structure. Recently, I had a couple of patients and also received comments on my videos with the same story in common. After or even while using a vacuum pump, they suddenly felt that something was wrong and in the blink of an eye, they were impotent and their penis was numb. While many of my colleagues think this is psychological, I believe it is physical. Overstretching a nerve leads to a neuropraxia. The nerve is intact but injured and will not function. Usually the issue resolves within a few weeks to months. Neuropraxia is the mildest form of nerve injury. Exonotmesis is a more severe type of nerve injury where the nerve fibers are damaged but the surrounding structure remains intact. There is still a high likelihood of recovery but it may take up to a year. If you want to use a vacuum pump, remember to start slowly. Avoid prolonged use. Do not use the constriction ring for more than 30 minutes. And finally, always adhere to the manufacturer's guidelines.
For vacuum pumps, ensure you use medically approved devices to minimize risk. What if your penis is already damaged? Unfortunately, there is no life hack to repair it with some voodoo move in two minutes a day. You will have to be patient and wait until the nerve recovers. And you will have to discontinue the use of a vacuum pump. What can I do as a doctor? Shockwave therapy and extracorporeal magnetotransduction therapy have shown some neuroregenerative properties. Currently, they are not standard procedure though. You can't do them at home. You will have to go to a doctor for that. And no, I'm not saying that to make you pay through the nose so that I can take all your money to the Bahamas and spend it on poker and prostitutes while you nibble on dry bread, lonely and alone in a cold cellar hole with a cold and numb penis. I am saying that because I want you to make the right decisions and stay healthy. But do as you like. This video is not medical advice anyway, it is for information purposes only. If you have medical issues, book an appointment with your local urologist. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.